I've heard some stuff that GoPuff is improving. Now, some context, by the way. GoPuff, I mean, I've done most every major side hustle there is, like these app-based gigs. Man, GoPuff is at the bottom third of my list because either not getting assignments when I get to this warehouse, it's a Tuesday afternoon, about 3 p.m. for some context, and I need to make sure that I get enough stops. I just got to the warehouse. I'm nervous about this because I, I don't know what they're going to give me, and uh, I'm not a huge fan, so let's swipe start work day since i'm waiting for an order let me tell you what i do on gopuff it doesn't matter if this is your first shift or you've been doing this for a while this is what i would do if you're going to drive on this app number one when you get here i saw one car he actually just got a gopuff assignment he got his bag here so i'm counting how many cars are here it's one central warehouse now I should say you might have more than one warehouse, okay? But there's, you know, different rallying points here. The other one is 20-some uh, minutes south-ish of this location. I might bump over there. Anyway, I'm looking for how many cars. And I believe they're doing round robin. So, like, first person to get here, I would think it's the offering first unless you're scheduled. And that's another thing to consider on GoPuff is to my understanding, comment down below, double check this. Okay, this is why we're a team here, but they're favoring scheduled drivers. But the thing is, then you're kind of locked in and I'm not really a fan of that per se. I mean, if you want to do this, then that's what you should do. You should schedule. There is him, he just left. There's another car that just pulled in and a second car that pulled in I see a third. I think that might be an employee though. I'm not sure. So look at this order request. There's actually like a traditional order request screen on GoPuff. $2.75 for one delivery. It is nine minutes, 0.7 miles. All right. I mean, I know what you're thinking. The uh, overall payout, $2.75. That is like nothing here. I mean, even look, I understand a dollars to mile ratio that we teach you here, 275 technically for 0.7 miles. That's not bad. And yes, this is before tips. Now, here's my problem with this is GoPuff, like I told you, they pay per drop. So there's a flat rate before a customer tip. That's how they pay you. But this used to be 325. If I'm remembering correctly, I'll put the last pay structure that I saw. It was more than this. 275 i ignored it but i don't think we're gonna see anything different it's gonna be exactly like this 275 so i'll take the next one that i get here it said it'll send me another one shortly so as i sit here contemplating 20 plus minutes <laughs> 20 plus minutes waiting for a request i got that initial request right but the point is i just got that one request so that's telling me it's certainly not busy. Because uh, remember, there's one to three bin assignments. So the one I got, it was a single bin assignment. And there was a car before me. I ignored the other one. So that, I believe, went to the other driver. They took it. And I think there's one other. There, I, there is. I think there's one other car behind this one. So obviously what you want to have happen is everyone getting an assignment and cars are moving in and out. Okay, I got something. So it's two orders. It's not especially attractive at all. It's $5.47, 28 minutes <laughs> for 4.4 miles. What kind of delays might happen at this point on the way to make the drop off? You should be fine. This should be like any other delivery app. Doesn't really matter what it is unless a signature is required. So I had one, I remember, it was like a tobacco accessories delivery. It was like paper wraps, paper wraps. And the app still required me to get the guy's signature. He couldn't even believe it. But this one's fine. It's a pack of water, there's a bag, and there's another bag of items there. Okay, and we're here. Pretty straightforward. I'm um, just looking for the customer's name. They're the one that got the water and we'll go through the confirmation picture as well. Okay, so the next one, five minutes, 1.2 miles from this one, it's not bad, but it was just getting out here. And let me tell you this, I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm always honest on these apps. <laughs> like none of these apps are paying me, right? So I just work on them like you do to make some money. If you get this and you're like, well, I'm out here, 
I, I gotta take something. I just don't wanna go back home. And you end up taking something like this, hoping that there's high tips, because there might be high tips. I wouldn't really go back to the GoPuff warehouse after this. It's already signaled, it's been super slow. I got the one. I did get this one, but it took mm, 33 minutes to get this one. And you'll know, you know, just understanding your marketplace, that this ending destination would be okay for food delivery, let's say. Okay, so the GoPro died, but I was at a crossroad. I had hit traffic. It was only gonna get worse, rush hour, but that was just one stacked order. It was just one. And I was trying to decide, should I go back to the warehouse? Because I told you, if this was you, I would not go back to the warehouse. Like the wait time to get the initial run and then the pay and then the traffic and all of that, I, I wouldn't head back. But I needed to see for sure at least another run because I needed to measure, okay, maybe it just got unlucky. Is it gonna continue to be slow? And then once I get another request, is it gonna be as bad or worse? So this is what I got, stacked order, five dollars and 24 cents for 33 minutes quoted for 6.2 miles i mean i get the appeal of hey there might be tips here but this is like any other app that does the same thing any other app that says well we're going to give you the base pay and then you'll get customer tips that's it. It's the same thing as DoorDash or any of these apps, but they're saying like, well, there's no bonus pay. We haven't even talked about bonus pay. It's base pay plus customer tips. So verdict for you after doing GoPuff for the first time in a couple of months and considering everything that all of these apps are changing, we've seen a ton of updates on DoorDash, lessening peak pay on Uber Eats. We've seen scheduling updates on Amazon Flex, not much from Shift and Instacart, at least not that's huge. And we have seen things from GoPuff, so guaranteed pay for scheduled shifts for wait time when you're not getting orders. Again, it's gotta be on a scheduled shift here. We've seen new order screens. We saw an actual an actual order screen, right? With a countdown timer. And you could actually more easily decline it, it looks like. So there's that. Even though this was one two hour run here on a Tuesday, it echoes what I've continued to see from GoPuff. I feel like, again, at least here in Pittsburgh, I'll compare and contrast with you down below, that it's not a big enough market adoption. There's not enough customers because think about it. If there's not enough customers that are using or know about the platform, then if more drivers get activated in the hopes of making money, they're not going to be busy enough. And that's basically what we saw today. I don't think it's all that. I think it's just that it's a Tuesday. It's slower. But I do think there's a piece of the pie that, you know, GoPuff isn't DoorDash. It's not Uber. It's not some of these bigger players. So combined for now, at least in my marketplace, it is still anchored in the bottom third of my side hustle recommendations for you.